Biognosis has a leading position. In fact, they are the pioneers in data independent analysis. And for us, as we wanted to expand the proteomics ecosystem with the Timstoff product, we knew if we had minds like Oliver Renner and Lucas Ryder helping us do that, that would actually accelerate the expansion of this field. We share one mission with Bruker, making the functional proteome accessible for every researcher. And we are just starting to see how the proteomics field emerges as an ecosystem. And I'm convinced that if we can enable scientists more broadly, it will impact every aspect of drug discovery and diagnostics. I think one key synergy that this partnership brings is proteomics needs to achieve the scale and the depth of which of where genomics is today. And this partnership provides a unique opportunity with the strengths that Biognosis brings with their methods and how they analyze samples and us as a tools provider. And this combination would really accelerate the adoption of sample throughput that proteomics requires. Yes, and bringing together the Tim stuff with our reagents and software enables proteomics scientists to get the most out of the proteome. And with our research services, we can provide leading edge proteomics to researchers who don't have direct access to mass spectrometry from early discovery to clinical trials. We continue to drive the development of proteomics data analysis with our software in close collaboration with all instrument vendors. With the US facility that we are setting up now, together with Brooker, we bring our services closer to our US customers. And we will accelerate the advance of proteomics towards clinical use. So the community wants to use the tool most efficiently. We are a tool maker. Biognosis has the experience and the leadership in data independent analysis software. And they run samples on a daily basis. So the synergy would be, or the benefit to the community would be expansion of how this tool could be used more beneficially to solve the difficult problems in science today. <music>